Hi everybody, Tina here with Loving Life's Little Blessings and I have a really fun project I'm going to do today. This is for our August, or our, I'm sorry, for our September blog hop and it's all about fall and fall colors and I'm going to take this frame that I have, I have had it for a really long time and I'm going to do something different with it. So I'm going to show you step by step, sort of, because I'm not going to do it all on camera, it would be too long. So I'm going to show you kind of step by step what I'm doing and um, I'll get back to you guys with the next step, okay? So here's the frame and let's see what I can do with it. Okay, so the first thing I've done is I've just flipped this over and it had one of these to hang it, had it just like that and it had the staples in it and I just pulled it off, pulled the staples out, pulled it off and then I'm just going to rip this backing off because it's not going to matter. I'm going to do something different with it anyways. So I'm just going to rip this backing off so I can get to the heart of the, the frame itself. Okay, as you can see, I have taken all the backing off of this. And what I need to do now is I just need to take some scissors and pull these staples back so that I can get this part off. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do next. Okay everybody, so I have my frame apart. There's the frame part. Here's the picture part. And I've also taken the, uh, whatever it's called, there was another piece over top of this on the outside. It's right here. I just painted it. And it's drying and then there's the glass. So I'm letting that dry. And then I have this stuff right here. This is the stuff that, uh, when I get my Stampin' Up! boxes, this stuff comes comes in it. So it's like packaging stuff and I keep it. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to crumble this up so it's really, gives it some real texture. And then I'm going to cover this part with it. Now, I'm using this frame because it originally gave me the idea, these squares I wanted to do something with. I had seen something on Pinterest. And I thought, oh, I kind of want to do that, but I wasn't sure how. And then I saw I had this frame already, and I thought it would work for the same idea. And so I've decided that I that I want four by four squares. And I just cut out some scratch paper and measured and cut and just to make sure that it was going to fit. So next I'm going to cover it, and then I'll come back. Okay, everybody, so I covered that square right there. With that paper, I just used this glue. Now I'm taking some early espresso ink and just a sponge dauber. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna ink over all of these creases. I'm gonna try to do this one-handed. Okay, that part is done. So it just really brought out the creases in this paper stuff and it gave it a little bit darker of a color, which is what I wanted. I'm gonna be using the paper that matches my room, the Spice Cake paper from Stampin' Up! And so I just wanted it to be a little bit darker and blend in more with that paper. So my next step is I'm going to decorate up this part and show you what I want to do okay hi everybody I'm back and I've got most of my steps done and I wanted to show you guys what I did I took espresso brown paper and I cut out four by four squares I then took my pattern paper which this is the spice cake paper from Stampin Up it's from last year and a lot of you know my entire scrapbook room is done in these colors and this paper and so what I did is I took a quarter inch off and I did three and a, three and three quarters by three and three quarter squares and I layered them so this is my very top row and then I took some spice cake fabric which we still offer in the catalog in our current catalog and I tied this bow 
And then I took my Cricut and with the storybook cartridge, I cut out the letters for Autumn. And they're gonna layer like this. And then I also have cut out from, in the holiday mini catalog this year, we have a die that has leaves and this little acorn and it cuts out I think five different images all together and I have a bunch of those cut out and this little acorn you can see that I cuddle bugged it and so I'm gonna show you what I did with each square alright alright so here's the top row I'm gonna move that and then I'm gonna bring in my next row The first thing I did, let's back up a little bit. So the very first thing that I did to choose the paper is I laid these out on my frame, just the, just the, the um, espresso brown squares. So my espresso brown squares were laid out like this. And then I decided how to do my pattern paper. So the first thing is, is I knew I wanted this green, so I did opposite. So I did one in this corner and one in this corner. I then decided, because I didn't want, I'm gonna paint my outer frame green, and so I didn't want a ton of this green in it. So I just chose to do two squares with that. I then decided to do two orange squares on this on these corners because the orange coordinates with this and I wanted to use four squares of this and then I put this is my favorite so I put it in the middle and so it was kind of just laying it out and deciding what looked best and I knew I was gonna have the brown lettering on the on top of it later on top layered on top of it so I knew that would give it another element and so that's how I chose where to put the squares Okay, so let's do so this my, is my next third layer. layer. So this is the finished product. I only did one thing different. I decided to just add another layered leaf right on here, right over top the circle. So that's my next row. And then let's do the do bottom my next row. Layer. I'm going to do the first square right here. And what I've done is I've just layered some ribbon together. This is espresso brown ribbon and lucky limeade ribbon which coordinates and I'm going it has a little slider this is in our holiday mini catalog and it's a ribbon slider slides right onto your ribbon and I'm just going to place that down Originally, I wanted this leaf. It is embossed. I ran it through the embosser. And originally, I wanted it on my T in the third row, but I forgot to put it on there before I glued it. And so, I, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick it with the M. Okay, I added my little acorn to my N square. So now I'm just going to put this together on the big frame I'm going to show you the finished product. Hey everybody I'm back with my finished project and it's sort of finished it's not quite finished you can see my frame I never did get it painted so if you could just imagine this frame in green because I'm going to do it in a green color to match my room like uh, I'm trying to maybe give you a good good view of a green I really want like this green sorry you're getting a view of my room just totally in work mode. Uh, maybe this green right here, if you can kind of see, except for the scratches. But that's kind of what I've painted everything in here. So I really would like this frame. Sorry, I just spun around. My camera went out of focus. So I really would like the frame to be green. But I've just popped my glass in, and then the matted part I painted brown. And then um, here's the way it looks when it's finished. 
So I hope that you guys have enjoyed this particular project and make sure you come back tomorrow for our second project and make sure you hop now to the next blog in our blog hop for autumn colors. Thanks guys for coming by and I'll talk to you later.